It's no secret that this channel and Makita have a tumultuous relationship. And while I like their tools, not so much maybe some of the people in the front office, they just don't like me. And that's fine. We grew this channel without them. We don't need them. And quite frankly, I really don't want them. But I must give credit where credit is due. Now, I have a couple tools from Makita. Some of them have been out for a little while that I just think is really cool. One of them was just made available and another one was just announced not too long ago that you might not know about. And listen, even though me and that Makita know, we don't get along, we don't see eye to eye, I am bringing you this video because I think they did a pretty good job. All right, so here's the first one that was made available and I'll put a link in the description below for all of you to check out. You're looking at a little bit of money. You're looking at $6.99. They're saying the uh, list price was $1,251. You would be insane to pay that, but at $6.99, I can understand it. Now, when you first look at this thing, you would say to yourself, this is what you would use to catch that pesky Makita gnome. However, no, it is a warmer cooler so if i scroll through the pictures here it looks like a regular cooler but it's digital it takes bat rays you could put 218 volts well here you go you can read all this but what's really cool about this is there's a couple different modes on this thing you can set it on four different cooling modes so it goes from 15 degrees fahrenheit 30 degree fahrenheit 40 degree fahrenheit or 50 degree fahrenheit those are the cooling modes however you also have two heating modes the first mode will set you at 130 degrees and the next one will set you at 140 degree fahrenheit and if you don't want to run it from the bat ray you can also run it from a 12 volt 24 volt on your vehicle not to mention you can run this on an ac power so like a 110 or whatever you just plug it into the wall so i think that's that's pretty darn cool. Now this thing also has a built-in USB port to charge your electronic devices, which is pretty cool. Compressor type cooler provides greater cooling performance. I'm not really sure how loud this thing is or how quiet this thing is. They're saying that it'll run up to a pretty long time, uh, five hours on continuous runtime with an 18 volt LXT 6 age bat ray when set to zero degree Fahrenheit. I guess this thing goes, the lowest temp it'll go from what I'm reading is 0 0.4 degrees, okay? If you set it up to 40 degrees, up to 17 hours on continuous runtime with two 6 age bat rays set to 40 degree Fahrenheit. Now you also got the 20 liter or the 21 quart capacity. So it's not huge, but it's not small either. I still think this would be great for stuff in the Makita no man. I don't know, it's just me, but here you go, all digital and it looks like it's weather resistant, weatherproof, whatever. I don't know, but it looks like a pretty cool cooler. Now I want to show you another cool thing that, well, I mean, it's been out for a little while. And again, I'll put links in the description. You can go a couple different colors. You got the Makita Outdoor and you got your job site. So you got this right here. And this is, you know, a lot of people are saying that they like this. A lot of people, I mean, it seems to have pretty good reviews, 4.7 out of five star reviews for 134 bucks i guess with one bat ray you can make a coffee a lot of people saying they don't like this from what i hear personally but again i have never used this before but you can make coffee out on the job site so i guess this is compatible with 18 volt and 12 volt bat rays it brews one five ounce cup of coffee in five minutes which you know you know so I guess this is available with the Makita 18 volt LXT or 12 volt max CXT lithium ion cordless bat rays. The clearance on this, you're looking at three and a half inches. So that's what your mug or your cup or whatever is going to be. So it does state that this maker, this coffee maker brews up to three five ounce cups of coffee on a five amp hour bat ray, 2.5 ounce cups on coffee on a four amp hour bat ray and two ounce cups of coffee on a three amp hour bat ray whatever maker comes with coffee cup and lid measuring spoon and removable water tank for 134 if you need your fix in the morning this might be really cool but let me show you what i found to be really interesting so this is the makita gnome's brand new 40 volt cordless microwave and they're saying this is in the last stages uh, of engineering or whatever they're doing here. It's a 40 volt max. Check this out. This is actually really freaking cool. And again, I will give props when props are due. So it's a 350 to 500 watt model. So you got a low and a high on here. But you can see you got the little door over here. Now you're probably wondering the runtime. And apparently they did some testing on here and here's what they came out with. Uh, the initial testing has been done on the runtime based on using different Makita 40 volt bat rays using two 8AH bat rays. The runtime is an impressive 37 minutes at 500 watt output. It's not bad. 
while using two two age bat rays the runtime is six minutes which is you know you don't really need that much runtime i wouldn't imagine unless you're feeding a whole crew with this thing i mean this isn't something you're going to set up in the army right and feed your troops with this is for your lunch right so you can see the different bat rays right here this would be the 2h you know 500 watts at six minutes eight minutes at 350 watts you know, and, and it goes up all the way to the 8 AH bat ray. I'm guessing this is maybe like a 6 AH bat ray. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, here's the model numbers. But seriously, not too bad. And altogether, it looks real nice. Like, I mean, it's very portable, very compact. You throw a strap on there. I would also like to throw the Makita Gnome in this microwave, just so you know. Uh, but this is actually really cool. And this is why I still really like Makita, because they come out with some cool things man they always have they've always been innovative and they haven't been as of late this right here maybe they're getting back into the game maybe they're saying listen we want to be innovative again here's a video Now, I am curious, have you seen this microwave yet? And if you have, you've probably seen it on YouTube channels like this, maybe TikTok or Instagram. Other creators bring you this information and not from Makita directly because, well, their marketing department's not worth 50 cents. They're just not very good at their jobs in the United States. And that's why a lot of people just don't talk about them that much. They used to be so innovative, come out with things like this in the 90s. And they were really the leader. They were at the forefront of power tools and now they're just not and it all comes down to they don't know how to get their message out they're not good at it i'm curious to know what you think leave me a comment in the comment section below and please 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 watch out for that pesky makita known because well he's very pesky share this out with your friends get subscribed hit that bell notification we'll be back with more videos soon